Yesterday, I did a webinar, and you have access to the webinar. The webinar is going to be in the description box, and when I wake up, it'll be in the comment section. What is this webinar about? This webinar is about what you get in the Corporate Citizen Playbook, and this is one of the things. This is why you want to get in. Next week, starting next Sunday, or this Sunday, I'm going to be doing the first Corporate Sprint. What's the first Corporate Sprint? How to get your holding company set up. I will be doing multiple live webinars to answer your questions, to aid you, to get your holding company set up because we're going to do a live webinar on Sunday. We're going to do one, I believe, Tuesday, then Wednesday, and probably another one next Sunday on getting your holding company set up, getting your operating company set up, getting your corporate banking set up. Essentially, I'll be available to answer your questions, to give you guidance and stuff. So also, another thing. The price of the Corporate Citizen Toolbox, well, the Corporate Citizen Playbook, is about to go up. It's going to go up 1st of July. Why? Because at that point, there's going to be 15 hours of content just in the Corporate Citizen Playbook, plus the content in the YouTube course. And once again, you go ahead and get in, you will be able to get everything that I'm going to produce the rest of the year. So that link's going to be below. So go ahead, watch the webinar, make your decision. And you definitely want to get in before we start the first corporate sprint. So let's get into this video. <sighs> Man, I did an AM hustle yesterday and I saw this comment talking about why increase the overhead. And I started to chuckle, right? I started to go like this. Let me explain to you what happened. And maybe you can go back and watch that corporate hustle because there's a playlist, the AM hustle. And uh, one of the things is, let me kind of explain to you where we're going, because everything operates from a strategy, works from a plan. And let's take the corporate citizen playbook. At one point, once I get finished with it, once I get some more seasoning in the I Eat Fire platform, the corporate citizen playbook curriculum is going to go up to a price of six or seven thousand dollars right and then what i'm going to do once i finish it i'm going to start to sell that course on a phone call okay now this is just a short version of what i talked about in the video i'm going to hire salespeople. ideally i want to hire three salespeople with a goal of making three sales per day so that's $18,000 per day per salesperson. So that's 36 and that's 46. That's $54,000 a day or $250,000 per week. All right. So that's a million dollars per month. If we hit our goals. Because essentially what I'm going to do is the, pay, the, the salespeople are going to be incentivized to hit their goals because their pay is going to reflect them hitting their goals. If you just make one sale a day, you're getting a thousand bucks a week, which is four thousand dollars per month. And then if you hit two sales, then you go up to twenty five hundred. If you hit all three sales, you get five thousand, which is twenty thousand dollars or sixty thousand dollars per month plus i'm going to have two customer service reps that when people make a sale the salesperson is going to message the customer service rep customer service rep is going to send them an email and the customer service rep is going to give them a phone call so i figure just with the sales people and the customer service reps let's say seventy thousand dollars per month and then we talk about office rent uh, office rent's not going to be that much. So to get all this set up, we're talking about $75,000 per month. And what we're talking about is, you know, times 10, that's 750000 And then we're talking about a sunk cost basis of a million dollars a year on a business that is producing Twelve million dollars. Once again, the cost basis of a business 
that is producing, I will pay more money in taxes than I would be paying my staff. So this is one of the things that you guys just don't know to know, because I understand that there's a lot of people online who are talking about you can make all this business, you can make all this money. But once again, I'll say this, I'm a technician. I actually do this for real. I've run multiple businesses before YouTube. I have made millions of dollars before YouTube. So a lot of stuff that you're getting, a lot of the information that you're getting is somewhat jaded because when we're talking about money, and th this is one of the things, and this is, and I'm not trying to be dismissive, I'm not trying to talk down to you, but one of the reasons that so many of you will never get what you want in life is because you don't want to spend the money. And this is what this comment was rooted in. Why are you going to raise the overhead? And I was just sitting there like, did you hear me say that if we hit our numbers, this business is going to make $12 million? $12 million? And you're sitting there like, well, we're going to spend a million in overhead to make $12 million. I, I was just blown away. And this is one of the reasons I'm doing this AM hustle is you guys do not understand the mechanics of business. For me to spend a million dollars, and let's go ahead, let's go ahead and say two million, because we're going to be running ads. Let's say two million. So we spend two million annually, and we come out with a $10 million profit. My taxes would be about four million, three to, because uh, there there will be things that I can reduce my taxes, but not I can reduce my taxes. So my taxes would be on the ten million. My taxes would be about I could probably get my taxes down to two point five, maybe three million which will leave $7 million in profit going into my pocket annually, $7 million. And one of the things that you have to understand, <clears throat> and one of the things that you have to observe is to have a profitable business, you gotta spend money. And this is one of the reasons that so many people, so many people will never have the things that they want in life because they, they have this mental block, like spending money on ads. I'm not going to spend money on ads. That, that's one of the big things that's going on right now. And as a person who's made the majority of my money online from an organic office or organic audience, I can tell you something. When you make your money from an organic office, or an audience, organic audience, your, your money just goes up and down because algorithms change. And there was this couple, great example, they have a YouTube channel. A few years ago, they were hitting it. They would put up videos, get 300, 400,000 views. Now they, they put up a video, they get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views because the algorithm has changed. So this is one of the reasons that once I get everything built out, I'm going to start running ads probably September, October. And then I'll be available because the courses would be built out. And then my workload is going to dramatically go down and I'll start taking phone calls to go ahead and set up the, you know, run ads to get people to book a phone call to sell the product. And if I can sell three products or maybe I could sell four products, maybe like, you know, this would be ultimate. If I could sell five products per day, sell five products per day, Monday through Friday, um, that's 25 uh, sales a week. That would be magnificent. That would be 
because that would be six times 25. So two times six is 120, then five times, um, five times six is 30. So that would be $150,000 per month. And that would be um, optimum level 600,000 per month if I can do it. And once again, why would I get on the phone to sell stuff? All right, when I hire these salespeople, they must be trained. I am the creator of these courses. I know the courses better than anyone since this is my organic knowledge. So I would have to get on the phone to, because essentially I would have to hire salespeople and I would have to train them. Now I would need to know people who can work the phone, people who have sales experience. That would be key. But I would have to sit down and it's like, okay, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to say. And then we have to stack up the things. It's like they get on the phone, they make the sale. Then there's going to be this pre-programmed email that they're going to send to the customer. And then they're going to mail the customer service rep. The customer service rep is going to send the customer an email. And the customer service rep is going to follow up with a phone call. Now, why do I want to do that? We're in this AI high tech business. When's the last time you bought something and got a phone call? Hadn't happened. So what we're going to do is to become very, very passionate about customer service and they will actually have a phone number where if they have a problem, they can actually call someone Monday through Friday and actually reach someone or get a response. If they can't reach the person, get a response within 24 hours. Once again, I have been in the online course business since 2014. It is 2023. That's nine years. And I already know a lot of the issues. And once again, why am I setting it up this way? Because I know people will have problems, people will have issues. And then with the um, support people, they're going to be the cheerleaders. They're going to be the people to push people. They're going to be the people to email people. They're gonna be in constant contact with the students where the students are gonna feel like, I am so appreciated. They really want me to win. They're helping me. They're, I have someone I can reach out to and I have someone I can talk to. So, you know, I already know before I even launch this thing, it's gonna be amazingly successful. It's gonna be massively successful. And one of the things <clears throat> that you have to understand from a business standpoint, you know the average business in America only has a 10% profit margin? 10%. Uh, this will have an 80% profit margin, which is massive, which is huge, which is insane. I want you to think about this. Look, look, look just kind of walk through the garden with me. So I have a business that does 12 million a year with an annual cost basis of 2 million, which means there's 10 million in profit, then I pay my taxes, and that's gonna leave $7 million. You know what I can do? With $7 million in cash flow per year, I can go out and buy houses and pay cash for them. I can go out and buy $500,000 house, and with seven, uh, I can go out and buy 14 houses, right? Set them up as rentals. And then in two years, I've got 28 houses. That's my retirement plan. I got 28 houses paying me 500,000. You can rent those houses out for 3,000 to 3,500 per month. So every 10 houses is 35,000 per month. I got 30, that's $350,000 per month in rental income. And this is the thing, this is the thing. And this, this is what y'all don't understand. Because those houses, I pay cash for them. I will not have to pay taxes on that rental income for years. You understand what I'm saying? 
So go ahead and get myself 30 houses, get a crew, get a property manager to manage the houses. With 30 houses, I will have my own lawn service. I will have my own lawn service to go and make sure that each one of the properties lawns are cut. And I also have someone that's on my team looking at the property, making sure that everything's okay. In two years, this business only has to work for two years for me to, because essentially, all right, I'm not trying to be petty, but I'm already rich. <laughs> so essentially this would be literally creating my future retirement plan without touching the money I already have. You, you understand where we're going? You understand what we're talking about? You understand the things that we are looking at and the things that we can do? Check this out. What if I wanted to go to Florida and buy nice rentals in very close, hot, hot destination points, buy rentals close to Disney, buy rentals close to certain beaches and rent them out on Airbnb. That could even be more money. So you, 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 you got to understand. Um, and this is one of the reasons that I am sitting on so much business credit because, and this is another reason in 2024, my goal is to get to $2 million in business credit. So I have this extreme float. So I have all this money. Cause once again, um, you know, when I saw that comment, why I cannot make $12 million a year by myself, <laughs> I can't, you know, you know, if I was in the NFL or the NBA or major league baseball, yeah. But as a single person entrepreneur, it, it, you know, the most I've ever made in a year by myself, I had a, a part-time assistant. Well, I had a full-time personal assistant was 3 million. But that was the year of the pandemic when everybody was at home, man. That was the year everybody was at home. So once again, understanding business, understanding money, understanding. And like, I just gave you the play by play by play setup of setting up an organization, setting up a sales team, setting up a customer service team. I just gave you all that. And this, this is the thing. Everybody wants to start a single person business and a single person business can be good. There will be some upcoming training about starting a single person business. But here's the thing that you guys have got to understand. And I know this because I have been a single person business. You can only make so much money as a single person business. And let's go ahead and actually extra it. Let's say we get my salespeople up to the point where it's like, I get, I get four salespeople selling this course and their, their goal is three per day, which is 18,000, which is 36, which is $72,000 per day times five. 350,000 per week, 700,000, 1.4 million per month, 1.4 million per month, 14 million in 10 months, 16 million once again. And like I said, I have no problem paying my, the people who work for me. Well, I have no problem. I'm not going to try to get people in there for some chomp change. I would pay them extremely well. So, one of the things that you guys have got to understand is to have a successful business that's up and running, you have to spend money. You have to spend money. There is no way around it. There is no way to defeat this. There's no way to finagle this. There's no way to get around this. You have to spend money. So that's the message for this AM hustle. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand is the price of the corporate citizen playbook is going to go up in July, even though it will not be finished. But the things like right now, there's how to set up your corporation, how to get start your business credit journey. How There's things that you just simply can't Google and it's going to get better and better and better. And then once I get this puppy built out, 
I'm going to sell the whole thing for $6,000. And it's going to be crazy. It's just going to be crazy because as we go along in this, we do these things. So what you want to do is go ahead and check out this automated webinar. It's going to be in the description box, this webinar. And what you want to do is make your decision to get into the corporate citizen playbook so you can be present for the first corporate sprint where I will be online with webinars where you can just call and ask questions and about your process. Cause I know a lot of you are a little nervous, a little apprehensive. So I get that. So starting Sunday, June the 26th, and then we're going to go that next week. And then the next week, the price of the corporate citizen playbook is going to go up. So you want to go ahead and get in now while the price is extremely cheap, extremely cheap. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next one.